What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Bass Blaster 12 12 inch powered subwoofer. As you can see it comes with the subwoofer itself with a handle on each side for easy transport and a power cable to power the sub. Now to connect the sub we can take any home receiver or amplifier that has an RCA line output. Some amplifiers have a designated output for subwoofers labeled as sub out but the setup is going to be the same whether you have that or a regular RCA output like this one here. So to connect our sub to our amplifier, we're going to take an RCA cable. We'll plug one end into the RCA line output on the back of our amp. Then we're going to take the other end and plug it into the RCA line input on the sub. We can also connect the subwoofer to our amplifier using the high level input and outputs on the back of the sub through some speaker wire. To do that, you would connect the sub to the line of passive speakers you have running out of your amplifier. So we can take the other end of the speaker wire that's coming from our speaker and plug it into the high level input terminal. Whether you use the left or the right side depends on the channel you're working with through your amp. And if you wanted to add more speakers to the chain after the subwoofer, you can take another speaker wire, plug one end into the high level output on the back of the sub, then plug the other end into your speaker, and continue the chain from there. So again, this is just another way to connect yourself to your amp, but if you have the RCA line output on the back of your amplifier, this is what we recommend you use. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the sub on. And now let's go ahead and check out the controls for the sub. We have the volume knob which will control how much sound comes out of the sub. And right below that we have the frequency knob which will set the low pass filter or how much of the low frequency range we hear coming out. So for example, if we set the frequency knob to 75 hertz, we're going to be hearing the frequencies from 75 hertz and below, but nothing above. So this is something you can set up depending on your preference or depending on how everything blends together in your setup. Next we have the phase switch where we can switch between 0 degrees and 180 degrees. And what this does is allows you to flip the phase of the subwoofer so that the subwoofer is hitting directly in time with everything else in your setup. So for example, if you're playing music and it sounds like the kick drum is going in instead of thumping out, you'll want to flip the phase switch in the opposite direction so that kick drum is hitting right on time with everything else. We also have the auto switch here that will have the sub turn on whenever it's receiving sound from your amplifier. And the sub will also turn off automatically if it's not receiving signal from the amplifier or if we just turn the amplifier off. This is very handy because this way we don't have to turn the subwoofer on and off every time we use it. And lastly we have the LED on and off switch, which when turned on will allow the LEDs to flash along to your music or anything else you're listening to through your subwoofer. So once everything is all set and ready to go, we can place our subwoofer on the floor so we're really hearing those bass frequencies, and play some music or throw on a movie or TV show with the full range of sound thanks to our subwoofer. From now I'm going to play some music so we can hear how the sub sounds. Here we go. this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your Bass Blaster 12 12 inch powered subwoofer. But of course if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.